Holy cow, did it take me a hot second to actually go through all of the comments that everyone left on my previous video. So if you did not know already, I asked everyone on my previous video, crystal keys are officially broken, right? I had 10,000 keys and I hatched a whole bunch of wizard Westies. I stopped around 3,000 or so and I actually stopped. I hatched an additional wizard Westie and it was just one extra, which I put everything inside of this box right over here. Now I ended up getting one additional extra wizard Westie. Everyone was so generous with the amount that they thought I was gonna get. I saw somebody put 10, 10 wizard Westies down. I wish I had gotten 10 wizard Westies, but to kind of give you guys the answer real quick for if the chest is actually broken or not, I guess it would be like a 50-50. So I ended up breaking even because of the amount of huges that I ended up getting. So essentially I got all of my gems back from spending it, but I also actually got some other items such as royalty charms and overlord charms. So that also made up. I think I made around 50 million extra additional profit, which is technically okay. I mean, you guys are more than welcome to test out the theory if the chest is broken or not. But I also read a lot of negative impact that it did not work for them and they used like 3,000, 4,000 keys. So I would say it's like a 50-50 chance as long as you are able to afford to use these keys. Honestly, you guys can see if you can test your luck in the chest, but also make sure that your mastery is high enough before you do so. If you start off at a very low mastery, of course you're not gonna get anything good, but you also run the risk that you're not gonna get anything at all. So the person who actually got the answer correct that I noticed first was Zakoda. I think one additional huge wizard Westie. So they actually got the answer right. And I was honestly scared that maybe nobody was gonna get it right. So they get a huge pineapple monkey. I was able to hatch this one from the last area at the normal egg. So congratulations, congrats, you got the right answer. So you guys, congratulations to this person here. And for this video's giveaway, let me know what you guys personally think of this brand new update. This is another one where I'll be reading throughout the comments and I will be picking the next person to win the next huge. And it'll be through from my doomsday box. So I'll be picking out one of the huges from here to go ahead and send out to a winner for my next video upload. Until then, let's go ahead and get started with today's content. Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. This is probably one of the most important videos that can come out right now, considering that we have a new clan battle. Now, if you didn't already know, the brand new update officially came out today. Now, the number one thing everybody is going to pay attention to is the new system for the clan battle which is collecting keys and breaking open the hacker chest. Now, as you already know, Big Games already told you that it works the same way as a crystal chest and every other chest that we have in the game. So the more keys that you are able to collect and open this up, the better chances that your clan will succeed. Now, I have no idea how I personally have so many keys right now, and this can go for every other person in the game and different clans. So you're basically looking at a whole bunch of people that are able to get so many keys, but how? Big question is, how? How are they getting so many keys? Well, for starters, there is a brand new book out here, which is a hacker enchant. Now, this does give you a higher chance of actually getting more keys. So every time that you get a key drop, you can get up to three keys, which is really important. Now, the one way that you can get it is through the forever pack or the AKA the hacker pack or two, if you've already collected enough keys, you have a chance of actually getting it through this section here, which is a free to play method. Now, because I ran out of Robux, I can't do the forever pack, AKA the hacker pack anymore. So I have to rely on basically doing it this way. But what I can recommend to a lot of players out here is how to basically organically get these naturally. Now, if you didn't pay attention to my video yesterday where I was explaining that I am basically going to be paying attention to a lot of items in the game that are just connected to getting a bunch of loot. So number one was the fact that I wanted to get 
get treasure hunter potions. Now, they were these right here. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to convert them to be the higher tier potions and hopefully, you know, I'm able to equip as much as I can. But this was one of the ones that I wanted to pay attention to. The other item, which was exotic treasure flags, which will help you out as well. Now, I don't know if these items are technically connected into getting hacker keys, but I'm pretty sure it still counts as a loot drop. So theoretically, this should work, right? You guys can let me know down in the comments down below if you believe these items could or maybe they don't work. And obviously, chests. They work as random drops as well since they're all connected together. So I am going to be using all of my enchants that I can use in order to get some more breakables into the mix. So obviously, you know, we have the boss chest mimic, we have the baby mimic, we have mini chest fortune which should help this little guy out, and we have the brand new upgraded superior chest mimic which now has a mastery on it so i actually use mastery potions to get to level 70 and i don't remember how many it took maybe around 20 to get from level 48 to level 70 so that is another way now this one i don't know if it's connected to actually getting more keys but i still want to be able to test that out and see if i am able to and obviously increase the mastery for it now the other thing that i found really awesome was triple sent me this a few days ago and I am going to be using it in order to basically get more keys. So I'm really happy. The only thing I could really, 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 really suggest as well is get as many pet equipables that you can. This way you guys are not stuck trying to break a bunch of boxes and things that you are needed in order to basically get drops. So if the faster you can break things and the more damage that you can do, the faster this progress can continue to grow. So try to max out as much as you can so this is a lot more easier for you guys in the end. Now, that's basically it. That's only that's honestly the only things I could really suggest other than the obvious cocktails, potions, enchants. Get as many things as possible so you guys can succeed in getting the most keys as possible. At some point, I want to say maybe when this clan battle is done and over with, these keys should be sellable. It's probably going to turn into the prison key where we weren't able to trade or even sell them. Obviously, you guys already knew how that went. So when the clan battle is done and over with, these could be droppables and they will work the same way as your regular normal keys. So hopefully you guys have some really, really good luck when it comes to the drops. And hopefully you guys are able to get the new book in the free to play method. And if you got super lucky in the brand new hacker pack, you guys can let me know down in the comments down below on what you've gotten. I was lucky enough to get uh, maybe some potions and some baby stuff, but hey, that's okay. So you guys can let me know how long it took for you to get the new enchant in the hacker pack. And how many keys did you go through inside of the hacker chest in order to get the enchant? I think that's our next quest is this brand new enchant because we want to be able to get like the book so we can get some more hacker keys. I want to get two to three at a time. I do. I really want to get a whole bunch of keys so we can we can definitely improve how many chances we can get for that brand new huge axolotl. So yeah, hopefully you guys get some really good luck. Try to pick up as many things as you can before everything goes crazy and haywire in the trade hub, especially right now. Until then, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone!